Warm and muggy in Chicago with a late threat of rain pushing the first pitch up five hours today. Chris Bryant is back in the Cubs lineup for the first time in three days. Omar Narvaez will lead off for the first time in his career. Then Hira, Yelich, Garcia. Well, Four-seamer, sinker, curve, change, and a cutter. So limited work so far, just a couple of appearance, appearances. Ray is a Midwesterner. He's from Cascade, Iowa. Bouncer behind the bag at first. Ray over to accept the throw from Rizzo. Little dribbler. And another three to one put out. Ray home on a 2 2 and another ground ball. Kipnis with those pretty red shoes makes the play. Bryant actually homered after injuring that left wrist on Wednesday. Sat out last night and the night before. Hard stuff, right? Four seamers and sinkers. Low to mid 90s. He'll do that about 66% of the time. Swing and a miss as he fans Bryant. Rizzo 1 4 7. Two walks and a run knocked in in the series and a high drive. Deep left. Yelich on the track. Is gone. Rizzo makes it one nothing in the first. <laughs> well, he's Made booking around the bases. Somebody, I, I got a feeling he, he he called that one. He said, "Boys, I'm going to go up there and ambush him. Going to lift one up and I'll let that wind carry it out of here." Playing with a lot of leads. They let, let that lead get away last night. Baez fans, two down. Decision pitch coming. Ball four. Star players. Schwarber takes off. Contreras draws the walk. Back to back, two out free passes. The on deck hitter being in harm's way, about 40 feet away. This is going to get down. Schwarber scores. Contreras to third. It's two to nothing on an Ian Happ RBI double. Bases loaded. And he bounces to the third baseman Sogard. Lots of time. So Hauser leaves the bases loaded, but the Cubs got a couple. Between innings. Yeah, I, I don't know what that's all about. Clearly, some frustration. Hayward on the dirt. Two down, 254. So good that they named a college after him. <laughs> that will find left center Ryan Braun on his way to second with a double. Career 320 hitter in this ballpark, and that's Milwaukee's first hit. On the ground, Rizzo will head to the bag. Kipnis will throw, and they got him out. Wow. That's a great adjustment by both guys. We'll get into that play after the break. I think if Anthony runs that ball down, he's going to be able to feed Ray and make the play that way. Excellent bunt. Hauser will field. He's going to throw late. It was close. I was surprised Hauser even made a throw. That'll get in for his second hit of the day. Let's see if Kipnis can score. Garcia cuts it off. Kipnis around third, and he's in, and it's three to nothing. Well, go ahead from Will Venable to score Jason Kipnis. Bounce to third, charged by Sogard, and he'll throw to first in time. 3-2 to Schwarber, and he strikes out, but the Cubs add to their lead. Rizzo's already had quite a day, and we've only played two innings. <laughs> the old guy. <laughs> Baez. It's Arcia. Lifted the left. Easy play, Schwarber. August never that easy with the wind here at Wrigley. The 2 from Hauser got him looking for his fourth strikeout.
and it was the first time the Giants had lost such a game as Hap was on his way towards second base with his second double of the day. Early, but he was out after four and a third. Hayward strikes out. And that forced Craig Council to use Peralta, Williams, and Hader, a former Cubs coach. Good man. Great big league career. That's floated into left for a base hit. And uh, Jamie managed Colin Ray three different levels in the Padres organization. Rolled into right. Yelich should be able to make third easily. And he will. So they have their best chance. First and Alan third. Leadership. Yep. No doubt. Out in the left center, and the Brewers are going to get on the board. Two runs will score, and it's now a 3 2 ball game. Ryan Tapera is very much in that what we call circle of trust. Zimmerman opted out, but said, That doesn't mean I'm retiring. And Braun walks. He got him looking. On the ground, Bryant can't get it, and it squeaks under the glove of Baez, and that's huge. If Javi's able to flag that down, its base is loaded. Instead, Smoke scores, and it's three to three. And that'll be a hit, and it would have been a hit either way. Javi, we get another chance, and he throws to Rizzo, and that's it. But the Brewers get three, and they have tied this game. Here about no hitters in perfect games, horrible bullpens prior. As Chris is out on a broken bat ground out. Lined and snagged by Sogard. Leaping grab by Eric Sogard. Rizzo still having a great day as he lines out. And it's We'll get at least two left handed batters here with Narvaez and Yelich who will bat after Hira. Picking the ball around and. Golfed high in the air off the bat of Hira. And Hayward's got it. I found that I've gotten to that age now where David Johnson find him like $500. Yeah, it was well worth it. Yelich. He's gotten a lot of mileage out of that. Yeah, he did. Takes the walk. Back to back, two out walks. Sir, call strike three. Good visit by Tommy Hadovy at Cincinnati on the 29th, and then September 5th here, also versus St. Louis. I believe the Cardinals will be the home team for the second game of all those double headers, as that one hopper played neatly by Urias. Good closer. I have a short memory. <laughs> wow, this was quick. That is a very quick one, two, three inning. How many pitches? Anybody remember? Four. Did you guys game. hear that? I heard a rumor. That start? I oh heard my rumor. goodness, we could drive up on our own. Braun into the left field corner for his second hit. And third reach, he's got two doubles in a walk. Go ahead, Gracie. Well. I mean, nice adjustment. Made a good pitch, just a little off the edge. Kicks away, and that hurts. Runners will move up. Breaking ball is much easier, but those are those get away a lot, don't they? Yeah, and it's just, it's, it's, you know, obviously have less time to react. Ground ball, and it gets past Kipnis, and one run will score. They're going to hold Urias at third. And the Brewers have their first lead of the day. Now, Braun was going on contact. I don't know if Jason would have had a play at the plate, but swing and a miss. That's a big strikeout. Two down. Roll to Baez. He will flip to Kipnis at the bag. The Brewers grab the lead. It's 4 3. Before the, uh, you know, before the era of. Trammell and Larkin and the Nayrod and so many other slugging shortstops. Yep. Suter works 
Probably faster than any pitcher in the game yeah. currently. It's part of his repertoire when you think about it. The, the, the tempo, part of what makes him good. This is not going to be the easiest play. Save! Oh he beat it out. So Sogard, just from his glove, made the flip. And Jason Hayward's got an infield single. So for the season, appearance number six. He's picked up a couple of wins along the way. 386 ERA. He strikes out Souza. And he gets Kipnis on a foul tip. Mark Grace, appreciate the time as always. We'll see if the Cubs can mount a late comeback. Their fifth pitcher for the Cubs this afternoon, making his fifth appearance in August. So you're getting four or five days between appearances. Yelich strikes out. Four hits in the series. Broken bat pop up. Baez in the outfield grass. Time for the seventh inning stretch brought to you by Budweiser. This Bud's for you. It's Rhino on the big board. Rizzo again with good contact. And he's on with a single. He's a triple shy of the cycle. Cubs facing all of these bullpens from each central division. And Javi is out on strikes. Seventh inning and Schwarber with a line drive base hit. To get the tying run to second base. The back pedal, Urias, two hands on it, and the Cubs strand a couple. Suter, two scoreless innings. And a big part of it. High drive out into deep right center as Hap drifts back near the track, a little bit in front of it. To put it away. Served into center. Irias. One and one on Arcia. Cubs playing pretty straight away. He gets a hold of one out into deep right center. Hayward runs it down. And he makes it look easy out there. There's a heck of a Raptor impersonation, too. Yeah. And he came back to get half. Mm. Corey Knabel to Steven Souza and a fly ball toward the left field corner. And it is gone! A home run! Just inside the pole. We are tied. What a dramatic moment for Souza. Knabel can't believe it. But he better believe it. Steven Souza Jr. unloads on the first pitch. It looked like it was going to hook foul. Just off the screen. Ball four. From the stretch. Horner takes off this time. Pitches high. Throw right on the money. And they got him. Narvaez leading off against Jeremy Jeffress, the ex Brewer, our Budweiser pitching change. Hayward and right. Two down. On the ground, busy day for Baez. Cubs can now win it as Jeffress just keeps rolling out those one, two, three innings. He's trying to get this game into the 10th inning. Bryant with a base hit to start it. There goes Bryant and Rizzo in the air left center and it is going to be caught and Bryant has to retreat. Garcia gets it back in. Up the middle it's behind back. the bag the flip and they're going to turn it. Oh he beat it. A lunge at the very end. Jordan Baker made the safe call and we will wait and I'm guessing if it's close at all they'll just challenge it. There's no reason not to. We're in the ninth inning. Click, there's definitive. Click, 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 click. I think potentially could have a review. That could go not only against you, but totally the other way. And 
call will stay. Five game series? Nope. Seven. Oh, I thought it was a five. Javi goes. Call strike three. Doesn't matter. Schwarber strikes out. Yelich will be placed at second base as we start the tenth part his Cubs career. And that could be trouble. Fair ball. And the Brewers will grab the lead. Go ahead, RBI double for Garcia. And again, that run will not be earned. Slicing drive, caught by Happ. Ian Happ just brought Justin Smoke. Oh, what a play. Just a spectacular play. You talk about a gutsy play. If he doesn't come up with that, it's going all the way to the wall. He Smoke just moved the bases. to left from center. Jeffress on a 2 2, got him looking. Actually, they're both funky. A lot of, a lot of funk going on out there. That's a base hit. Garcia is going to try to score. Nope. Ed Cedar puts on the brakes as Hap does a nice job keeping him at third. A kick and the pitch toward the hole. Tough play by as he's going to have to eat it. As another run is in, it's six to four. What a day for Urias. Three hits, four reaches. To make sure extra innings don't go too deep. On one hop, played by Horner, he'll step on the bag. So, Cubs will have to get at least two in the bottom of the tent. Yeah, as we mentioned, he's a funky lefty. But you've got a three batter minimum. Contreras in the air to right. Almora will tag, and it's caught by Gamble. And the Brewers are not really concerned about that free runner because of that two run lead. Yeah, so that's, that's out number run one. Was huge. Bounce to third. No look, and Almora will. Score. I don't know why Albert hesitated as Sogard had no interest in Albert. Another one, two, swing and a miss. And the Brewers scratch and claw and find a way to grab another one run win. The final in 10. Milwaukee six and the Cubs five. And for the first time this year, the Cubs have dropped back to back games.